Mm, what's up, guys? This is the Rifleman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire to do all that's play is the Kingdom of Bavaria. And in this episode, we are attacking yet another Mughal force. <laughs> and uh, yeah, still plenty of this to do in future, and they're actually pushing up towards us in the north of Lahore. Um, but before we get too ahead of ourselves, let's attack this force here and destroy them. And now I'm going to make more of an effort, I think, to uh, to try and tidy up our situation in the Americas, because it feels like I'm kind of... The campaign, this campaign is, is rapidly coming to a close. So, I, I mean, maybe not literally, it will take some time to fight all these battles, but in terms of strategy-wise, uh, we, we're getting there. So I think I should really continue on my uh, North American expansion plans. Anyway, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's make sure we've got no one left. We need to fight in India, and I'm fairly sure we do. Okay, terrains. Awkward for sure. Heavy horse howitzers fire overhead. All my infantry that's currently 225 men long form a... Actually, I know what I want. I know what I want to do. Anchor against this feature. I can get my my other artillery on this bit of raised ground here. Pick two lifeguards to defend the left, or guard infantry. A guard unit and a line of regiment of foot to protect the right flank. Spread my cavalry out, spread my lances and cuirassier up on the ridge. Deploy my howitzers. And let's get to work. Try and focus on their mobile elements for the most part, except for my foot artillery. They're probably going to engage the enemy guns. They are. I may let my horse guard artillery continue the counter battery fight. Horsemen are pushing in, but they are not. She might see if these guys can reload fast enough to get a shrapnel shot away. Bold, very bold. So deploying the square, to, assuming they charge. Slow mo. Oh no! Okay, there's. Okay, right. Yeah, might get some friendly fire here, but we've just blown a chunk, blown a gap through there. It looks like the enemy are actually going to rout. Okay, let's get back to our engagements at range and even pivot you guys around. Let's make sure we focus on the Kizilbashi Musketeers with our howitzers. Oh, they're mowing down my line infantry guards. There we go. Infantry f musket fire should take care of them, although they are surprisingly resilient. I should really have kept my kill my artillery firing and maybe not deploy you guys into square formation so at least you can fire your muskets a bit more uh, to, a bit more um, consistently keep my cavalry ready on the left the right's not quite so bad my felt Jaeger ready to fire. You're blasting shrapnel over here. Good hits. Might target some units a bit more forward of the guns. He was blasting some. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of dead. A lot of dead Indian chaps. Hindu warriors, Hindu warriors, musketeers. It's all a bit dicey. Get my 
the Curiosity Edge hit the Hindu Warriors, my Lancers hit the Dervishes. Oh, actually, the war. Oh no, the war. Oh no, the war elephants are gonna bust through my line. Pull back. I definitely did not appreciate those elephants coming in. Push my cavalry on. Push forward. Okay, get my heavy artillery to limber up. They're going to need to book it out of there. Shemen hit the Kizobashi. Just to make sure they route. These units can have to fire a form square. Bit of friendly fire there, but that's okay. Okay, this artillery needs to switch to round shot and engage the general's bodyguard. Artillery withdraw. You are relying on the war elephants collapsing fairly soon so you're gonna try and push forward okay let's try and mop up this left flank a bit reorientate my line so you should be able to knock out the dervishes once and for all so the lancers were charging so they're a bit more vulnerable although well, your fusiliers you are definitely the wrong guys to send into that engagement. Get my infantry out of square, push forward, get my cavalry in. Howitzers also go for the enemy general. Keep mopping them up. So don't fire, charge the enemy infantry particularly the units wavering see if we can break them and we have so keep killing till they're shattered oh pikemen run 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 on the right flank hindu warriors are gonna go down same thing again keep killing until they shatter shattered form the line oh yeah get back so my cavalry's you're right lots of enemy routing here artillery keep hitting the enemy From there We can take out the pikemen as long as we don't mass, or we don't or we hit them on. But we mass our cavalry to hit them from two directions at once, one at a time. Recipe for disaster. And this still may be a disaster, but you have to kind of hit them from multiple directions to kill them fast enough to cause them to doubt their strategies. Excellent. So let's get a Curiosier on to chase down the general's bodyguard. E-men advance these units. Send them to go attack the artillery. My general's bodyguard is going to deploy. Or oh, the levies decided to get back into the mix. They may actually cause problems against a lot of against a small. Well, 
We've got, we've got a good amount of infantry pushing up. But even against heavy cavalry, there is a limit. We even fire at will, so they can begin gunning down these Kizobashi on the hill. It's a lot of dead Kizobashi right off the bat. Chase them down. Okay, I think. Okay, you've formed up again. So you go after the cavalry. We'll go after the general. Everyone else push on. You all attack the levy. Okay, let's maybe send you after the artillery because you can knock it out quickly. We didn't get any friendly fire there, which was lucky. Okay, let's speed up time. Keep going after the gun crews. Damn right, we're going to continue. Kill the enemy general, which is always nice, especially when they're an elephant unit. Okay, let's just group my cavalry together rather than spreading them out. Get as many kills as we can, although most of these guys will successfully withdraw. We're all going to focus on this unit of musketeers here. Very elite unit of musketeers now. There's one guy who really knows what he's doing. Everyone else is destroyed. Nice. So, a bit of a bloody one there. The terrain did help them get up to my lines. Back they go. New men replenish. You know, everyone else just kind of push up to plug the gaps. Well, you're waiting for company troops for reinforcement. Everyone else... Push up. So yeah, you're waiting for company troops, although really you... Eh, cavalry... You don't need really the one cavalry unit, but we can do some swapping. There. Lahore is converting to Catholicism slowly. We've got Gurjarat. You're pushing up to Udaipur. My agent push on to Sahara. Or Satara, not Sahara. I mean, look at, look at the coverage we have of enemy territory right here. There is no... I mean, look. Satara here is completely unprotected. Okay, these two need to be... Need to be dealt with. So who do we pick? Oh, it's got to be Karl Strack. He's got a bugged artillery unit. He will not mess about. Let's make sure I get some troops in as reinforcement. It's just as close as possible without being in. Right. Lots of camel nomads, lots of musketeers. Actually, this is a more conventional army. Still, we got the firepower to push them back, and push them back we shall. And then that would be probably the stre their strength in the east gone. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. Then we'll blitz through uh, to towards their uh, their center and away we go i'd like to build up an army in sri lanka to land and take satara it's an un it's a yeah, completely uncontrolled or ungarrisoned city beyond the one they generate themselves oh what a bad map in the corner it is i want my firepower damn it Although, to be fair, I do have a load of, a lot of uh, stuff coming in in reserve if I need it, so I think I may as well push for the hill. May as well. So let's give myself a strong core. 
three units on one flank. Okay, let's maybe do four units on each flank. Are you deployed or are you leftovers? I think you might be leftovers. No, well, you're not. You're deployed. My cavalry me valuable commodities, particularly my pikemen, even though they're not cavalry. Rush my pikes up to support that flank in particular. Secure the high ground. Squares across the board. I mean, I must admit, you guys are very vulnerable, but it appears they don't care about going after my artillery. Send in the pikes. Let my artillery keep engaging. We've destroyed the enemy there, so we're going to engage the camel nomads with our other unit. Let's go for them, musketeers with my howitzer fire. My pikes have pushed through. Camels will be falling en masse. Going to be see a bit of friendly fire here. Keep going just to see if we can shatter them. Well, they're probably not. Push my pikes along to the next unit. Don't send my hussars in because they are vulnerable. Re jig where I want to send my infantry. Form square. Yeah, they think they're charging in on the flank, but that's not going to be true. My, how my artillery back here engage. Engage the enemy 12 pounders. Okay, let's redeploy my pikes, my infantry. Form a battle line. Oh, my howitzers can be, should be, dropping quick lime. They're going to charge the square again. Brave souls. The colours have returned to the centre. squares square is holding there we go quick climbs cause the camels to break now you push up you push up My cavalry push forward to smash the Hindu musketeers. Being wary of the fact there are Sikh musketeers. Interesting that you're not. Okay, now. Okay, there we go. Camels. There you go, they were causing issue against my Freikor on the flank. Retarget the guns against the enemy blob heading our way. So you men can pivot to fire down onto the enemy enemy blob pushing up. Okay. <laughs> oh. 
cavalry took a bit of a hammering from my own quick claim again, as is tradition. Back you come. The blob looks like it's experiencing emotional difficulties. Slimber up my um, limber up my howitzers. New men push up, secure the hill. Withdraw. Artillery engaged. So who fired that? Oh, it would have been my guys. So the enemy you know, camel gunners are pushing up. Withdraw my hussars. Get my howitzers to advance up to the front line. Actually, to be honest, they may not even be able to do that before I call them into action once more. Musketeers are still holding. I would like to very much see them retreat. Push my pikes over. And limber the howitzers, and they're going to get orders to danger close. We got a danger close quick climbing, just engaging camel gunners. Cavalry's going to hold steady. More camel nomads. Pull back the hussars. Yeah, they're advancing. Form square. Which means. Yeah, I was kind of... Yeah, I was like, okay, I want to rejig this. But that's a lot of dead camels. That's not bad at all. Might get my quick climb to focus on that area there. Form square. See, every time I rejig my... Okay, let's not bring my... Bring a general in. They get one to focus on that unit of camels. One to focus on these Hindu musketeers. They broke, they broke, shattered largely. Push my cavalry up on the right flank. Both these squares go out of formation. We have hussars coming in on this flank. That's useful. Go for the 109th. You men form square. Pouring musket fire onto these attackers. There we go. Excellent. Attack ground orders. Keep chasing down the Kizilbashi because for now they've formed two squares. So I'm setting in my hussars to make sure I win this engagement. We'll worry about the Seek Musketeers later. Now they're starting to send in the, the bulk. So get my how to start attacking their general's bodyguard units. It would be super useful if I could break some of those. Line infantry get involved in the combat. These units form up ready to engage only the new units that are coming to attack. Well, I'm just to kill the Lancers, actually push into the Seat Musketeers. See if we can upset their square formation, then that unit will will be withdrawn. 
Oh god, hello. Lancers, get out of there. To be honest, I'm probably gonna... Actually, you keep attacking, just to make sure they shatter. My Lancers, on the other hand. They're probably after the Seek Musketeers. Pull the cavalry back. Retreat my unit. Pull my artillery. Shrapnel the 6th. No, uh, Shrapnel the 8th uh, the Dakili of Seek Musketeers. No, run, 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 run. I don't think Quicklime is as effective against elephants as it is against everything else. Got some collateral damage there. So I'm hoping I can shatter the Sneak Musketeers. Good. I, want that, I wanted that opportunity to break. Can you just run now? Both these cavalry units which withdraw. Artillery. Round shot those cavalrymen. Soften them up before they get to our cavalry. Freikor cavalry at that. Excellent. Push my Freikor forward. Engage the horsemen. Artillery, engage. Go for that unit of Kizil Bashi, because you've got an opportunity here to knock out their cavalry. Fire your volley. Charge in. They're wavering. We're going to pursue and destroy them. These cavalrymen go after their skirmish cavalry. I might get one of my artillery units just to... Oh no, they're pushing up to our line. They'll get engaged by my infantry. There you go, they've routed, which is excellent. Ooh, more artillery. Not super bothered about more artillery, but you know what? I'll take it. Because that was a good quick climb here, all those dead camels there. Kill an enemy general. Yeah, that's that unit gone. Who are you? Foot artillery. Ah, oh, you're loose. Killed another enemy general. Let's probably charge them in to attack the native lancers here as well. They're wavering. Oh, they're wavering already because the generals just died. Yeah, their morale recovered. Let's get my guns to deploy on the flank just out of the way so they don't cause too much trouble. Retarget my howitzers against the troops that are still sticking around. My hussars are going to be ripe for replacement soon. And once you guys are out... Okay, let's round shot. Round shot the pikemen. Elsewhere, things are a bit dicey for the Mughal Empire. I should be in line for either more artillery or more cavalry, so these Sars, you can go. Before I call cavalry format. There's a ammunition. Some of our units are They're a bit on the low side. So let's 
Take these three units, bring them up behind our line. They're going to plug gaps when the ammunition is exhausted. More infantry. Push them up onto the flank. Unlimber the guns. Trap more shot only, please. Oh, you're just out of range. Bombard. Get rid of the general. We don't need him. Good quick climb hits there. Lots of really good hits. Let's run this infantry unit up more central. Ah, they came back. You made melee. Engage, we'll gauge the, the levy via melee. You men push up behind the lines. Okay, the the pikemen are now in shrapnel range, and it looks like they're going to they're try and kite our Brycor uh, cavalry. You men engage the bows. Good hits. They're still coming in. Excellent. That's that lever unit shattered. You men might actually have to uh, form a bit more of a traditional defensive position. They're not in range to in range of quick climb yet. Draw the cavalry. Let my artillery continue to cut down these pikemen. Okay, now engage with one unit of quick climb. You engage these Hindu musketeers. Yeah, they're still coming. It's a good volley. If they break, we'll chase them. Pursue them. Artillery, engage the Islamic swordsmen. Same with the shrapnel. Go after the pikemen. Let's try break them. Well, they are. Well, they're broken. I mean, um, shatter them. Excellent. Good hits on the swordsmen. As they begin to crest the hill, they're going to start getting cut down. Killed a handful of them. You men, make sure you fire it well on. Here they come. Stand your men down. They will only die. Why are you... Oh, you're being engaged with counter-battery, I would imagine. Send my general down to deal with that behaviour. There goes his own swordsman, that's all good. Bring the cavalry back so they can reload. 14th Regiment's doing an excellent job on the hill. There we go. Kill the cannons. Mixture of trapnel shot and round shot. The swordsmen have come back, but they're being held with musket fire. 
Okay, let's bring my general back before he gets shot off his horse or something. You're just about to advance into musket range, but you're in a bit of a defilade. There we go, knocking some holes in them with quick climb. A lot of artillery in the back, plus a Kizobashi cavalry unit. Once we knock some holes in this Zamming Swordsman unit, you can probably begin to counter battery. You reloaded, Crycorp Cavalry. Pursue them. And this unit. There we go. Has that triggered them? It's triggered them. They're upset, alright. need my cavalry back here to help defend the guns. Yeah, here they come. Keep loading and firing. Keep loading and firing. The Freikor are tired. They're going to get up on the hill, reload, get ready to pump another volley of musketry into the cavalry. Then the artillery back here is ripe for the taking. Oh, that's a good hit. Make ready. They're shaken. Artillery fire's coming in. Another good hit. Yeah, got through some of them. Volley of musketry. Ooh, shrapnel fight over their heads. They're probably going to rout. Get my howitzers to engage. The usual suspects. Where's my general? Yeah, there we go. This is going to be GG. You begin to push down the hill. Good hits. Just a second. Good hits, good hits. New men storm up to the crest of the hill. Go get him! All my artillery switched to round shot. Engage the Hindi musketeers. Lest we do too much damage. You fired your volley, are you now going to break? Yes, you have. Now it's everyone against these guns, so let's speed up time. Just because it's a bit of a mop up. Yeah, we are going to continue. It won't be long, though. Artillery, all of it, ceasefire. You go after the Hindu Musketeers. My general will go after Izobashi, although it looks like they're all quite spread out. We've all got caught on the same or similar obstacles. Still, kill as many as you can. Nice, come on. Okay, let's try something a bit different. Oh, they're going to escape back here. Still, that was a good, solid victory. Oh, 7,000 killed for 1,000 good Bavarians. Royco Cavalry have done a superb job.
Back you go, you devils. Replenish. Replenish, that's you guys. These are the guys that got all the kills. So you're going to move here just to prevent them from trying to cut through to the south. But apart from that, we have a bit of a general advance going. Push forward. And then here in Calcutta. I mean, we're probably going to be. Okay, let's go for our artillery. Something like this. I mean, this army is probably going to be. Actually, we can take this agent and push them to Nagpur. Because we've built the church school over to the east. Religious unrest is about to be zero anyway. We've only converted 9% of the population. Anyway, I think we might have them on the run. Asterisk. We may not have them on the run. Oh yes, that's the result of my naval incompetence. Confident general. Brave soldier. Actually, it's Karl Strack was the general the last fight we had, really. Darling of the gutter press. Corporal in gold braid. Brave soldier. Alexis Muller got confident general, and Raphael Hartmann got steady under fire. And Hanke Reichel got confident general. Well, you ran away. I pushed you away. Did not want you sticking around to fight. Um, and no sooner had I said, I'm not going to forget about this, I am tempted to forget about it. Because I want to keep making progress in India, really. Let's take on the agents. Most of them are going to be Kind of not useful. Well, not not useful, just kind of surplus. Yeah, are you going to kill a ship? It's a surprise. But here's the main event. Let's see how you stack up. Ideally, we need to push and take more of their financial centres, but it looks like they're gathering around Akbarabad because they know it's... Well, the rebellion is strong there. Ooh, that'll give us opportunities in the south. Do we want to intercept this army's depleted? Kind of, yeah, only yeah, a few units depleted, but not as. Mm, no, I think we'll. I think we do want to do that. We got some reinforcements anyway. So much so, let's probably scoop some guys around like so. Yeah, let's do it. Two large Indian armies think they can push against us, eh? This would be a really good win. It would be a good win if we can get it, and also uh, if we can actually take a bit of a breather and replenish our troops for once, because it seems like we never get a break. Either they attack us during their turn, or we attack them. But then again, we've got so many armies, some of them are going to be okay. Okay, we're going to defend this hill. Defend this hill. Deploy... Deploy the troops in... Deploy the guns in the line. So you deployed this unit. Deploy... And let's do something like this. I'm going to say that. Fusiliers go up, are going to go up front of their existing positions. They're a bit vulnerable on the left, but not excessively so. Okay, the Fusiliers, I'm not overly bothered about specifically placing my stakes. There we go, get my Pandar all together on one flank. So we've got one gun team not deployed. They're going to be right at the tippy top. Oh, it says... Blank my formation. Split up the cavalry. Where's my general? Yes, get him 
on the top of the hill under the trees where he should shelter from the sun like any true gentleman. Oh, so if they go for the guns, any misses are gonna. This is gonna be beautiful. Although we may. Although because we are going for enemy artillery. Oh, we killed their general. Oh, bad luck. Okay, let's keep. Actually, yeah, keep the counter battery going for now. Look at see look, this is why I'm not overly bothered about making sure I place them in the most efficient spot, because they cover a lot of ground when they <laughs> fully stretch out. Although because you guys have trees in the way, it looks like you do not want to place your stakes. So try and get head of the line. Just a quick climb, we've got camel mercenaries coming in. Hit them. Soon. Actually, you can switch to shrapnel shot. You can not switch to shrapnel shot you yet. I'm going to leave you on shrapnel shot. You're going to engage the enemy depleted unit. Yeah, here comes the enemy artillery. Push out wide. It's going to blast some shrapnel shot through these mercenaries. They are not going to like it. My fuselier is going to spread out to try and place stakes. I'm imagining they are going to break. Okay, engage. The levy on the flank. You men get ready to engage. Ideally, it'd be the musketeers, but I don't think I'm going to get that opportunity. Let's begin to knock out some of these infantry units trying to push the flank. Did you deploy your stakes? You did. Good. Form up. Deploy my Freikorps cavalry in the line. Get my horse guard in position as well. Okay, you're going to be in position to engage these Hindu musketeers imminently. Just blast the levee. These bowmen are going to get mowed down by my cavalry. Excellent. There goes that unit of bowmen. So you go for the sea warriors. You go for the dervishes. Well, actually, you can't find a round shot, so... Push my hussars into the bowmen. General's bodyguard is advancing with wanton disregard for life. Actually, no, let's not just suicide, not suicide, but don't just charge into the war elephants. They do a lot of damage. Didn't shatter the bowmen, but they're battered and bruised with draw up the hill. Pushing in. Fired our shot, but it was a bad shot. So go get him, heavy cavalry. Heavy cavalry usually do okay against elephants, but these are war elephants. They don't really fight them. Lots of enemy flashing the flags in the centre. Who are you? Tufangi. 
You go get him. Okay, there we go. Now we now we're starting to pick at them. They are doing the same to us, but I think they're losing men faster than we are. Blasting shots into the two fangy there. Curassier, go for the Hindu warriors. Excellent. So they're vulnerable. Well, my skirmishes are vulnerable. Unless, of course, we cause the enemy units to break. Keep engaging. There go the elephants. Seat warriors are vulnerable. Okay, switch to canister shot for the close range battle. It's a bit more dependable. Just try to shatter them if you can. If not, no biggie. Actually engaged. This the Sikh warriors are wavering already. Go on, my Crossier. I mean, they've hit the perfect unit for melee attacks. But the hope is, when we're heavy cavalry in the rear, and enough damage done to them. There we go, they're shattered. So then howitzers, you engage that two fangy unit, you men engage. To be honest, whomever you like, this artillery unit back here. Okay, we've cleared out one gun team, go for the other unit of 12 pounders. You are somehow incapable of shattering this two fangy unit, so let's withdraw. There you go, the Seek Musketeers. Good, things are looking real good. Pitch back to Shrapnel. Yeah, see, some of these units are coming back, despite breaking. Oh. Sipahi charging in. Looks like they're going for this gun team. We've got a reason. There's a bit of a gap in the spikes, though. But still, we should be managing our ammunition better than we did last time, so we can we can do a bit more. We can directly do more damage to the uh, units on the field. There goes enemy. Another enemy general slain by shrapnel shot. Once these guys get into position, there we go, engage. Hold your fire. We'll see if we can get a good shot of shrapnel against these uh, Tepahi. Give me another enemy general. I might get you guys to try and take them out. But this unit go after this two man here. Kill a couple of elephants. Look at them up on the hill. Oh, I screwed that up a bit in terms of timing, but man, that's a defensive position, alright. Canister shot. I mean, you're going to hit a bunch of stakes, and that's going to be lovely. So they're going after the, the, the 18th Regiment. My regulars can open up against the Hindu Warriors. You can't make up your mind or where you want to go. You've lost half your men. 
There you go. Final blast of canister shot was what did it. Although, here come more. Oh, good secondary effects here. Break them. Break them. Killed a gunner with my musket fire. Quick climb coming in. The levy is shattered. A few men better go for Hindu warriors. Oh, the elephants have made it through my line. Here comes more cavalry. Warming in. Form square. Although I don't know how long it's going to be necessary for. Have these gunners abandoned their guns yet? They haven't abandoned the guns yet. You're going to hit a load of stakes. Brave men at the guns, they've not abandoned them. Yeah, my regulars broke, but that's to be expected. You men engage the war elephants. Curacier coming back to help save the day. There goes the next enemy concentration. Scuttling back. Well, they've gone for my uh, howitzers. Just keep my gunners in the centre of the seek refuge in the centre of the square of the twelve foot guards. Heavy cavalry will take care of them. Get my cavalry back. You keep engaging the general's bodyguard. There is no general in command of this unit though. Excellent. Get out of square. No, you men will hold. Okay, now, are you actually capable of... You've only got one gun crew. Go for the Sipahi. They're coming in. Oh, misses. Hope you're all reloaded, Marines. Hope you're all reloaded. On fusiliers, nail them. Coming in. Skirmishes. Oh, they like the skirmishes. Fire! Heavies attack. Where's my gun crew? Get back to the howitzers. Man them. You men form square. Okay, right artillery. Two canister shot. Bombard that unit of musketeers. You men round shot. Strictly speaking, you guys could probably do with withdrawing because you've not got much ammo left either. And you guys could probably... Are you guys capable of firing? Only one team's capable of firing, so let's make them pull back. My cavalry on the left is very much not used. Let's take... A unit of fried core cavalry and get them over here to expand our firepower. I am reluctant to uh, completely move them across. You should still be hitting... Well, their artillery is out of range, sadly. Ooh, 
Gurkhas, eh? You don't have very many of them. Especially now that we own Kashmir. Hit them with a quick lime shot. That'd be quite ideal. I want to see them fire quick lime away. Oh, they've they've moved perfectly one good hit oh and they're all misses oh, they come up 50 that's not bad but the cavalry is not uh, up to the strength that we would like the bowmen are broken he might have to charge Oh, we're, 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 this is like the, the perfect wrong angle. Format towards the enemy. You had to charge the Gurkhas to get the charge bonuses off. There we go, and it worked. Then they are shattered. Good stuff. A oh, heavy cavalry. More heavy cavalry. Hey there, artillery back here that's all unprotected. Eighteenth Regiment, switch cast shot, engage the Dakil. Seventeenth. Do the same, but hit the bowmen. Although come Islamic swordsmen. I could probably do with, with pushing you back, but... Uh, let's keep you fighting. Fairly sure your shots go through the... Go through the uh, bushes. my cavalry to charge on over here. Free target. Who are you? Levy. And my Pro Corps fire off some volleys, then we'll get my cavalry committed. You come back here and Engage the enemy artillery piece by piece. So just charge in. Mop them up. We're very much running out of enemy units here. So they're shattered. You're going to knock out the large mortars. We may actually properly kill these artillery crews as well, just to prevent them from doing much of anything else. Shattered. I think everyone's going to be out of it. Okay, go after the 24 pound of foot, because they're now exposed. Everyone else is running away from the levee, which is not super helpful. I'm going to want to stop my artillery from shooting, lest I kill all my own men. Fortunately, they're engaging an old target set. Go after the 24 pounders here. go after them, you go after them, you go after them. All my infantry is going to be fire at will off as well. Damn right we're going to continue. Go 
a lot of cavalry too. Actually, you guys are going to gang up on the levee together. You men gang up on this Kizilbashi. I think because they're so spread out across the board, we're going to have to do a lot more uh, mothering than we normally would. They've spread out quite well. Should we go down to 50? I might try and see if you can kill your guys. Okay, I think they might all be together now. Two left remaining. Yeah, they're all together. Okay, focus on them one cluster at a time otherwise we will be here literally forever and go get nowhere you have to kind of blob your cavalry it always feels like the ai pathfinds better when you when you order a bunch of them to attack one unit as long as you're ungrouped if you're grouped they try and keep them in formation it's just a real mess Five guys. No, it's just the one guy. Stop and fight, you coward. There he goes. Okay, now it's everyone against. There's only six. This last unit should mop them up now. Nice. Decisive is exactly what we like to see. Oh, that's 10 to 1 exchange ratio. Perfect. And my Hussars have gained a huge amount of experience, but uh, there are not many left. Curacio have gone from 3 to 7. But they're the same deal. Yeah, that's sent those forces scuttling back. They're sending in another army. Oh, they, yeah, they are massing. But we've still got opportunities for battle. Ah, oh, I thought they lost to the rebels for a minute there. They're still maintaining a front line, so credit to them there. I suppose what they ought to be doing is rebuilding my, uh, or rebuilding a garrison in our cart so I can push this army out and keep on attacking. That's really what I should do. Or ship in a garrison from, uh, from Sri Lanka or Ceylon. That'd be the smart idea. I really would. But I'm not smart. So, how are we doing? So, you're going to go down to Hyderabad. I mean, you're that far off from just being a complete army. Three turns collectively. Push you guys down to the next crossing. I'm quite sure. Oh, who are you part of? You're part of him. Good. Keep pushing on outwards what I'd like to do is this you cover that bridge you men push up to here and you're going to attack that army there and auto resolve it okay there we go so suddenly we're within spitting distance of their new capital but we've got all access roads to the north blocked you're going to push it along like so. So we're probably going to end this episode with Mr. Talba attacking this force here and trying to drive them west. So at Arcot itself, just get them to start mass recruiting company infantry. Green Engineer School, Sigismund. Demand the surrender of a diaper. Oh, they're not going to give it up. 
either way, we can we can push our western flank up. So you go to here, you You're gonna lose some infantry to gain company infantry and company cavalry. Okay, we are gonna fight these guys as well. Well, basically lots of fights to be had. Uh and these guys just push. To be honest, can you guys push out of Medabad? It's kind of unhappy about it, but not massively. But you can push on to Eugene and take the city. I mean, at some point, they're just gonna their economy is just gonna fall through the floor, right? I mean, surely, surely. Demon factories, church school in Sindh. I see a few cobbled roads built. Srinagar, yeah, what's Srinagar's cobbled roads? Right, now. Begin to filter in some Gurkha units. Can probably stand to lose. Something like this. To your full strength. Largely everyone's good. Let's repair Iron Master's works. Let's repair this. Got a sneaky little thuggy running around the rear trying to get cause trouble. I mean, do we not have any... They're war weary. There's a lot of clamour for reform. They're having to exempt tax. Food shortages. And what about elsewhere? Nagpur's still up. Hyderabad is very upset. Hopefully, my religious unrest will get worse as Catholicism takes over. Mysore. Mysore's very upset. They're going to start rebelling. Where's my. Agents. You're converting. Catholicism very slowly. I guess you don't like India very much. No, you're pious. No, you're not bad. Let's build Kasur into a church school. That way I can send my Catholic missionary forward. Particularly to uh, I mean, I'd like to try and send them down to Mysore. Let's demolish the shipyard at Pondicherry. Down the dry dock here. I mean, you're just waiting to see if they try and push and we can mow them down on a river battle. But yeah, I think what I'm going to do is take Mr. Talbot. Right. Take... No, you're, you're not within range. Let's see if they intercept us first. Nope. Engage Mr. Singh. Force them west. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time.